This is the Finkelstein test. Indications for this test include focal radial wrist pain at tip of styloid process, suspected decurve veins tendonitis, patient complaining of difficulty lifting, grasping, and twisting involving the thumb, patient complaining of difficulty with activities involving simultaneous wrist and thumb motion. Precautions include unstable radial carpal region, if underlying osteoarthritis, and forcing beyond pain. Biomechanical explanation. This test is utilized to detect stenosing tenosynovitis of the abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis. This is known as decurveins. It's a pain provocation test due to the stretching of inflamed tendons over bony prominence of the radial styloid along with thickened and tight first dorsal compartment. Test psychometrics. To date, no diagnostic accuracy studies have been performed to determine sensitivity and specificity. Interpret test results with caution. Finkelstein's test may produce a false positive in Wartenberg syndrome, basal or thumb arthrosis, extensor pollicis brevis entrapment, and intersection syndrome. Testing steps. Patient is seated with affected forearm on the table, hand hanging off the table with neutral supination and pronation. Assess patient's pain with gravity-assisted active ulnar deviation. If acute, patient may complain of pain, local tenderness at the tip of the radial styloid. If so, no further testing is necessary. If minimal or no pain, stabilize at distal forearm and apply a gentle ulnar deviation force to the hand at the radial aspect of the second metacarpal. If increased focal pain over the radial styloid, no further testing is necessary. Apply gentle passive thumb flexion into palm. Expected outcomes if test is positive. Pain will be localized at the radial styloid, indicating decurve veins tenosynovitis. If test is positive for Finkelstein, follow up with the extensor pollicis brevis entrapment syndrome provocation test. References include Dawson, 2010, and Dutton, 2012, 3rd edition. Hi, Julie. Hi. Hi, my name is Rachel Winter. I'm going to be your physical therapist today. Perfect. Okay, nice to meet you. You too. So, I understand you have some pain oh. in your um, right arm or your right wrist. Mm hmm. Okay, can you point to where that pain is? Sure. Going? I'm feeling it around over here. Okay. Um, and then, for under normal circumstances, I would be doing um, the test I'm about to do on your left as well as your right. Mm -hmm. um, but today we're just going to be doing it on your affected side. Okay. okay. Um, so what I want to do with you is called a uh, Finkelstein test. Mm -hmm. And it will help us roll in or rule out um, the reason for your pain in your wrist. Mm -hmm. So um, what to expect, it should provoke your symptoms. It should be recreating that pain that you have. Um, and if that happens, then I'll stop and um, we will know that it's a positive finding. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, I think, uh, that's, that's good, right? So ready to get started? Yes. Okay. So what I'm going to be doing is, um, stabilizing under your forearm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And let me just get under here and wash my hands. Perfect. Um, so can I see you move your wrist towards the floor? Good. So what I'm going to do is add a little bit of pressure mm -hmm. over your hand open as it is just to see if it recreates any symptoms. Okay. So let me know if there's any discomfort. That's okay. That's all right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then go ahead and make a fist for me, tucking your thumb inside your fist. Good. Um, and I'm going to be applying that same force here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be feeling, before I do that, for a bony landmark. And some tendons. Can you real quick go like this for me? Stick your thumb out in the air. Yeah, good. Okay. Any tenderness to palpation there? No. Okay. All right, go ahead. Uh, make a fist like you are. Aim? Yes. Right okay. in that area. Right in this area where my thumb was. Okay. So based on that test, um, I think we can be confident in saying that that was a positive Finkelstein test. Mm -hmm. Um, which would be indicative of a condition called decurveins, which is just some inflammation in the tendons, two tendons running into your thumb right there. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Julie.